Anthony Albanese has gotten smaller and smaller the longer his term of government has gone on to the point where he's now reduced to sitting in the lodge making TikTok videos about the uh, contents of cornflake packets, which incidentally is where his treasurer, Jim Chalmers, got his economic degree. <laughs> so what does the man behind the plan have to say to that? It's really important to recognise that my ears are bigger at the end of the financial year than we anticipated in May, not because taxes are higher, but because a product comes out in new packaging, it's the same price as before, but the box feels a little bit lighter. It's called shrinkflation, and it's a trick supermarkets and food retailers use to charge you more when you're getting less. Price tags are meant to have unit pricing on them so you can make sure you're getting good value. But right now, there aren't any penalties to make supermarkets follow that rule. We're changing that to make sure you know you're getting a fair deal when you buy. Uh, there's so many problems in this country right now, let alone around the world, and Anthony Albanese is talking about this kind of stuff. Does he really imagine that when we go to the ballot box later this year or early in 2025, Australians are going to think, you know, I, I can't afford my mortgage. I, uh, I, I, I can't uh, afford my power bill. Reduce power prices $275 a year. But at least I know the Prime Minister is going to make sure I've got more Fruit Loops in the packet for breakfast tomorrow morning. He's kidding himself. He's an embarrassment if he thinks anybody is taking him seriously because he's a most unserious Prime Minister right now. That's my style. I hope you've noticed that. Honestly, this is just absolutely pathetic. Last week, Labor was trying to take credit for the fact that the ACCC is now going after the duopoly of Coles and Woolworths for their shonky sales prices. This week, he's going after after portion sizes, but still not a word from this man running the country about the fact that we all know the real problem is inflation. That's why we're not getting value for money anywhere at the moment. And what drives inflation? Government spending. But have you heard a single Premier or the Prime Minister of this country talk about tightening their belt <laughs> and slashing public spending? No. This is standard procedures. And I know people are doing it tough. I also know that if uh, Chalmers didn't have Bowen and Albanese spending billions and billions on their mad green schemes, which are falling over almost weekly, uh, that would take a lot of heat out of the economy, I would have thought, and money in uh, the Treasurer's uh, piggy bank. Uh, but the Prime Minister racked up a $3.8 million expense bill in a single year. That's just for travel for him and his staff, printing and and communications and it doesn't that does not include private chartered flights his mansions and his salary and his staff's wages of 10 million dollars in a single year because it's got so many have a listen to him if they think that the prime minister of australia should drive themselves around uh, they should say that uh, i'd rather do that frankly uh, to be honest, I'd rather... A serious car accident. And I love the story of Javier Malay. Since coming to power in Argentina last December, inflation's gone from 25% to 4.2%. Why? Because in that short period of time, he slashed public spending by 30%. Who knew if you slash public spending, inflation goes down. He's showing up socialist governments like this one. Oh, but the people who are writing all the laws, they're fine. They get pay rises that are the highest in the decade or the second highest in the decade. Or they get three of them since they became the leaders of this country. Oh, but we're giving you back 30-something dollars of your own money. Oh, and if you've got somebody who loves you, then it might be $60, please. Be thankful. The crumbs taste lovely. And uh, today I'll make this point. Uh, that we need a better government, and rightly so. He's depriving a village somewhere of their idiot. The sooner we get rid of this Labor government, the better. <laughs> they hate what we do here each and every night. So you've got to be here every night. You've got to series link the show. You've got to share the videos on YouTube. You've got to make us too big to ignore. <laughs>